Okay, so you received your new internet modem from San Bruno City Net Services. Congratulations! You just took the first step in getting the fastest internet speeds available in the city with the heart. All you need to do is hook it up. Intimidating? Not so much. Just follow these steps and in a few minutes, you will be ready to surf the internet, play video games, or do whatever it is you like to do online. This video will show you how to connect an internet modem if you live in an area of San Bruno that has fiber to the home. There are instructions if you want internet only, internet and a landline telephone, internet, telephone, and Wi-Fi, and if you want to add a connection to receive television service. For those of you who want television service along with internet, you will be given a unit called an optical node along with your TV cable box. Hook this up before connecting the internet modem. Here's how. In the box containing the optical node, you will find a power adapter. You will also need two RF cables. The power adapter connects on the far right where it says power in using an RF cable. Take the red cap off the connector. Screw on the RF cable as tight as you can. Now screw the other end of the cable into the power adapter. Plug this into the wall plug. Next, you will connect the optical node to your cable box. Take the red cap off the connector labeled RF out. Screw in another RF cable to the RF out connector. Screw this in finger tight. Attach the other end of the cable to your cable box. If you have a standard definition cable box, you will connect to your TV using another RF cable. If you have an HD cable box, you will use an HDMI cable to connect to your TV. Finally, connect the fiber cable coming out of your wall into the optical node. There is a green connector on the far left of the optical node labeled opt-in slash out. Take the black cap off the connector. On the fiber cable, you may have a cap on the end. Take the cap off. Next, look at the cable. See the small bump on one side? Now look at the green fiber input on the modem. There is a small opening on one side. This is the side the small bump goes in. When you connect the cable to the unit, make sure you put it in all the way. It will click into place. If everything is plugged in right, these three lights will be on. Here are the items you will need to connect your internet modem. The modem, the power cable, and an Ethernet cable if you are connecting a computer or other device via a hard wire. If you plan on using Wi-Fi, you don't need an Ethernet cable. If you have television service in addition to Internet, you will need another fiber cable called a jumper to connect your Internet modem to the optical node. If you are using an Ethernet cable to connect a computer or other device to the Internet modem, connect it to the device, then to the modem. If your modem has multiple Ethernet inputs, you can attach the cable to any of them. Next, connect the power cord to the Internet modem. Plug the other end into the wall. Before connecting the fiber cable to your unit, notice if you have a small cap on the end of the fiber cable. If you do, take it off. Next, look at the cable. See the small bump on one side? Now look at the green fiber input on the modem. There is a small opening on one side. This is the side the small bump goes in. When you connect the cable to the unit, make sure you put it in all the way. It will click into place. Once everything is connected to the internet modem, all the lights on the front of the unit will light up. This may take up to 10 minutes. If you have both internet and a landline telephone, your internet modem will have a space to connect your telephone to. 
plug your telephone cord into the modem. If you want internet, telephone and Wi-Fi, or just internet and Wi-Fi, your internet modem will look like this. The power cable plugs in here. The unit comes with a stand. Be careful when working with the stand, as there are some sharp edges on it. The stand slides off. Next, you will plug the fiber cable into the unit. The fiber plug is in this hidden compartment. Gently pry the door off. Loop the fiber cable through the space on the stand. Plug the fiber cable into the slot. Put the door back on. There is a small space to the right where the fiber cable comes out. Slide the stand back into place. Once you have connected the fiber cable, connect any hardwired devices and your telephone into the modem. To use the Wi-Fi once the modem is working, you will need to know what your modem's name, or SSID, is. The SSID is on the modem's label. Go to your device's settings and you will find the modem's name. When prompted, type in the password or pre-shared key. The password is also on the modem's label. More information on how to self-install your internet modem can be found on the San Bruno CityNet Services website. You can also call us during regular business hours at 616-3100.